in the secluded village of Ravenswood, nestled amidst mist-shrouded forests and whispered legends, a young witch named Elara found herself entangled in a web of fear and suspicion. Blessed with the gift of magic and a heart as pure as the moon's glow, she was a beacon of hope in a world shrouded in darkness. But jealousy and mistrust festered in the hearts of Ravenswood's inhabitants, fueled by whispers of Elara's extraordinary abilities. When a series of misfortunes befell the village, crops withering, livestock falling ill, and mysterious ailments striking the townsfolk, fear gripped the villagers' hearts, and they turned their accusing eyes upon the young witch. Falsely accused of placing a hex upon the village, Ilara found herself condemned by superstition and mob mentality. Bound in chains and shackled to the stake, she faced the wrath of her accusers as flames licked hungrily at her feet. In her final moments, as the smoke spiraled skyward and the scent of burning flesh filled the air, Elara's anguished cry echoed through the village square. With her dying breath, she cast a curse upon Ravenswood, a promise of vengeance that would haunt the village for generations to come. The flames that consumed her mortal form could not extinguish the fiery spirit of retribution that burned within her soul. Years passed and the memory of Elara's unjust demise faded into legend, but the curse she had wrought upon Ravenswood remained as potent as ever, lying dormant like a slumbering beast awaiting the spark of awakening. Then, on the eve of the anniversary of Elara's tragic death, strange occurrences began to plague Ravenswood once more, Ghostly apparitions wandered the moonlit streets, their mournful wails piercing the silence of the night. Shadows danced in the flickering candlelight, whispering tales of vengeance and despair. The villagers, once skeptical of the curse's existence, found themselves ensnared in a nightmare of their own making. Doors creaked open of their own accord, objects moved as if guided by unseen hands, and the air grew thick with the palpable presence of the supernatural. It soon became clear that Ilara's curse had awoken, and the ghostly apparitions that haunted Ravenswood were none other than the vengeful spirits of the accused witch and her fellow innocents. Bound by injustice and fueled by righteous fury, they sought retribution against those who had wronged them. In a desperate bid to break the curse and appease the restless spirits, the villagers turned to the wisdom of the elders and the remnants of ancient magic long forgotten. Through rituals of purification and acts of contrition, they sought to atone for the sins of their ancestors and lift the curse that had plagued Ravenswood for so long. As the flames of redemption flickered and danced upon the village pyre, a sense of peace descended upon Ravenswood. The ghostly apparitions faded into the mist, their anguished cries silenced at last. And as the first light of dawn painted the horizon in hues of golden promise, Ravenswood emerged from the shadow of its haunted past, forever changed by the lessons learned from the tragedy that had befallen them. Thank you for watching Dark Theory Inc. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon for our upcoming episodes.